Perhaps it was just such a moment, fire and air, that helped to create an incredibly useful invention. Simple, ingenious, and yet infinitely complicated. Because that realization probably gave rise to this. But more about that later. It all started here, in Lübeck, a beautiful northern German city with typical friendly northern German people. You can also see them at the family-owned company Draeger, because tradition has always been a top priority here. Moin, moin. Moin, moin. Moin, moin. 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 More about that later, too. After developments in other industrial sectors, founder Johann Heinrich and his son, Bernard, quickly realized that they had a very special talent. Namely, inventing and developing technology that protects life. You can see this particularly well in their mining, medical, and especially firefighting equipment. And this is where that realization kicks in again. Air plays a big role in firefighting. However, they took this thought a little further. Alexander von Humboldt's belief. Only a rescuer who carries the vital air himself has a chance. Made sense to father and son. With their extraordinary talent for invention, they put Humboldt's thoughts into practice, building the first self-contained breathing apparatus for rescue workers. In 1941, Draeger succeeded in the development, the Model 10, the first SCBA in the world. It provided emergency personnel with 10 minutes of breathable air and was the big bang of a technology still in use today. Exactly. Since then, Draeger has gone from strength to strength. SCBAs are becoming lighter, more ergonomic, and better. Darwinian-like, they are being adapted to their operational environment and to their wearer. True to the spirit of Johann Heinrich, Bernard, Heinrich, Christian, Theo, and Stefan Draeger. Because even though Draeger continues to grow, the family business remains in family hands. Countless innovations and milestones have been developed and integrated. For example, the 300 bar technology in the 60s, or a heads-up display. This came onto the market, or rather, into the firefighter's mask in 2001, and was unrivaled for quite a long time. How does Draeger do it? With the best employees in the world, in addition to competence and knowledge, they also bring passion to the table. Many former firefighters work at Draeger, like Anne, Thomas, Hager, or Gunnar, for example. Like them, the mission to make products even better, simpler, and safer is deeply rooted in the company's DNA. And it involves an unbelievable amount of effort for people and equipment. Before Draeger launches a product on the market, such as the new Airboss, it is tested, tested to the limit, sometimes even destroyed, reinvented, to be adjusted and measured, reassembled, and test it again. When a device finally leaves the in-house production after years of development, it is lighter, more ergonomic, more robust, and equipped with the latest technology. And it will once again be a milestone in terms of safety, technology, and handling. How does Draeger do this? That's actually quite simple. CEO Stefan Draeger says that we do it for the same reason as firefighters. We share their passion to protect, and support to save lives. No more and no less.